Hi you guys. Um, despite having not slept more than probably like an hour total last night, um, I feel a little bit better about what came in the mail yesterday. Um, I haven't thrown it away. I want to, um, but actually thinking about it um, and just browsing the internet a little bit this morning, um, I'm pretty sure it, it's got to be fake blood because, you know, just from what I know about cutting nails, you'd have to cut a really, really deep nail to um, get any kind of blood. And um, well, I don't know if it's easy to see or not, but these kinds of nails, I mean, the ones in here are really, really short, are really small, and they don't look like they came from the nail bed, and that's how far you'd have to go down to get blood. So, um, even though there are, you know, blood smears all over this thing, um, I don't think it's real blood. But I did find out that um, using um, just a few different things that um, we actually have in our house, um, I can actually find out if it really is real blood um, using a chemical reaction between um, this is rubbing alcohol right here. I just poured it in this cup. Um, this is hydrogen peroxide solution, um, which is right here. And um, this little thing is called um, phenolphthalein. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, usually, uh, apparently people don't have this in their houses just lying around, but um, my mom's actually, she works in a lab. Um, so, you know, they she has a couple random bottles of chemicals downstairs. I don't think they're dangerous. Um, I don't think this one really particularly is. Um, but yeah, I found this in her cabinet. So I've got all the ingredients, so I figure, why not? Just to make myself feel better. And maybe you guys too. So um, I'm gonna follow the instructions online that I've got pulled up right here. And um, let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna grab a uh, Q-tip and um, first step according to this web page is to wipe as much of it on there as you can get. It's all pretty dry so going to be a little flaky. And first we're going to apply a few drops of alcohol. Oops, there we go. Um, next it's going to be the phenolphthalein. And after that, a step is to apply a few drops of the hydrogen peroxide. Whoa. Oh. It says check the sample. If it's pink, it's real blood. Um, I don't know if any of you guys can see that, but, um, well, hang on. It's looking kind of pink. 